Hi, I'm Tara with Smart Deploy, and welcome to Smart Tech Tips. Today, I want to talk to you about, uh, there's too many choices in Smart Deploy. I'm just going to call it like it is. It's, I have paralysis of choice. We support so many virtual environments that I don't know which one to pick. Like, I, I literally don't. So I'm going to make it simple for you. We're going to pick one easy, best free option, and today we're going to use VirtualBox. We're going to make some VMs in VirtualBox and use Smart Deploy to capture that image. OK, I'm just going to take away the choice for you. Let's make it easy. So first thing we're going to do, and remember what I said, it's free. I love free, and I love easy. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go to VirtualBox. We're going to download it. So today, we're going to do Windows. And once we do the download, next your way to victory, download everything. And I need to say this first, you're going to download this on the same computer where your Smart Deploy console lives. Very important. I made this mistake initially, and I tried to use vCenter. And I'm like, oh, I don't need to have them on the same machine. And technically, it can work, but just trust me, don't do that. Have it live locally on the same console as your Smart Deploy. Same machine as your Smart Deploy console, OK? Locally as your friend. So we have it on the same machine. We're going to download. Everything's perfect. We have them side by side. This is what it's going to look like. So let's make a virtual machine. It's just that easy to download. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit New, New VM. And this is what you're going to see. We're going to name it, and you don't want to put spaces in. And then you're going to go look for where you want to store it. The next step is you're going to search for your ISOs. If you don't know what an ISO is, don't worry. We're going to make another video and walk you through how to make those pretty soon here. Then you're going to pick your operating system. And then we're going to leave that unchecked for unattended installation. Hit Next. And then this next, next screen is username and password. And you can leave the defaults, but I would recommend changing that just for security purposes. Those security people are so annoying. I mean, no, I didn't say that. We love them. And then again, remember no spaces. We are not going to check the box for guest edition. Smart Deploy does not like that. It will fail. So do not check this box. So next, next, then you're going to set your hardware. and. You're sharing the resources. So you don't want to get too beefy here, but you also don't want to make it too anemic. So choose wisely. So next again, and then that's going to take us to the summary. You'll have a chance to just verify the resources you allocated. So you can back it up if you change mind. And then you're going to complete it. And then the magic is about to happen. You're going to see a bunch of cool stuff happen at a snail's pace. Yes, it's gonna take forever. So just go get some coffee, do what you need to do as you watch Windows install, updates happen, and then it will reboot and you'll see what you normally see. Okay, so now you have a machine. You're gonna see it in your sidebar in VirtualBox there, so now you have it. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna turn it off. Really important, it needs to be off before we capture it, okay? Once you've verified that it's off, we're going to hop over into Smart Deploy now, and we want to go to the Capture Wizard, OK? So go to Capture Wizard, Capture Wizard over here, and we need to find that VM that we just made. So for VirtualBox, it is, the, the images are stored actually in user data. So I'm going to walk you through that because it was a little weird when I first did it. So it's just going to, you're going to navigate to that folder in its users, your user folder. And then this is the tricky part. It says .3t, which is normally a hidden folder, but it's somehow not hidden. And then .virtualbox. No, those are tricking you. Don't click on them. Go all the way to the bottom, very bottom. Click on VirtualBox VMs. And then inside of that, find the one you just made. And then the VDI, select it, hit Next. And then Capture Wizard's going to do its thing. You're going to verify the disk space. Hopefully, you like what you see. You're going to pick standard image and then say where you want to save the image. Hopefully, it's somewhere where you have a lot of space. That's kind of important. Fill in your image name. Fill in any of the other boxes here that you want. Make pretty notes. Hit Finish. And you just captured your first image. It's just that easy. OK, look what you did. You are successful. Now, we did one. 
Go make like 50 more. An experiment. See what happens. I love it. Send me some comments. Tell me how you did. I want to hear. I'm Tara from Smart Deploy. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.